With a smart group, you can automatically organize certain contacts into a group based on their contact information, rather than manually adding them, as you need to do with a standard group. I'm going to click here to create a new smart group called Swanson Digital. From here, I can set which fields determine the group. I'm going to select Email, and then Ends With. In this blank field, I'm going to put in SwansonDigital.com. So what this will do is bring in any contacts with a SwansonDigital.com email address into this smart group. I end up with three members of the group, all with a SwansonDigital.com email address. Since this is a smart group, if I add a new contact that has a SwansonDigital.com email address, they are automatically going to be added to the group. Let's do one more smart group example. This time I'm going to use the note field and add any contacts to the group that contain the word softball. This can be an easy way to keep track of friends in a certain organization or on a team. Just add the term in the notes field of any contact and they're going to be added to the softball smart group. Of course, if someone ends up leaving the team, I can just remove softball from their contact card and they're going to be automatically removed from the group. To edit parameters of a smart group, just right click on it. With larger contact lists, you might want to create more complex smart groups that contain multiple parameters to narrow down those included in the group.